Welcome to Bootspy. My name's William. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to use saddle soap, the different tools you're gonna to need to clean your boots, and the conditioner, how to condition your boots after using saddle soap so that your old looking leather pair of boots comes out looking brand spanking new. Let's get into it. To get started in cleaning your boots with saddle soap, you're gonna need, most importantly, saddle soap. I'm using Kiwi for this demonstration, uh, but there's uh, lots of different options out there. There's Phoebings. Doesn't really matter which type of saddle soap you do. Kiwi is cheap and expensive uh, and it works just fine. So that's what I'm using for this demonstration. You're also going to need a dauber brush. This is basically just a badger hair or horse hair brush, but it's small and circular. You're gonna need a microfiber towel or even a, a paper towel will work for that. And lastly, you're gonna need a leather conditioner. For this demonstration, I'm using BIC4, but there's lots of other good options out there like Venetian shoe cream. Um, but any sort of leather conditioner, you're going to want to condition your boots after you uh, clean them with saddle soap. Step one, you're going to remove the lid of your Kiwi saddle soap like that. And you're going to fill this part up with warm water. So I'm gonna run this under the tap, fill it up with warm water right now. Step two, you're gonna take your boot and you're actually gonna knock off any extra dirt any extra debris, you're gonna take out the laces, get this thing ready to go, ready to basically wash because that's what you're doing. So it shouldn't have any extra dirt on there that can scratch the leather. So clean it off as best as you can with a microfiber towel. You can use that one later um, and that's step two. Step three, you're gonna work up a rich lather inside of the saddle soap. So I take my dauber brush, I dip it in the water, the warm water I have in there, and I'm basically just working up a rich lather. Now that I have a rich lather on my dauber brush, Step four, this is really where you just clean the boot. It is pretty simple. You just go in circular motions across the entire boot. I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like in close detail right here. And all you're doing is working around the boot. Make sure you get inside the welt. Make sure you get inside the creases. Cover the tongue, cover every area of this boot that has any sort of dirt, patina, grime, buildup, anything like that. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you rub that lather into the leather as well as possible. Your dauber brush shouldn't be soaking wet. It should just be lightly wet so that you're able to spread the suds around the leather, but you never want to soak through the leather. You never want to saturate the leather with water, basically just keeping it lathered, but not soaking wet. After you've gotten a rich lather across the entire upper, you're gonna take this microfiber towel and you're just gonna wipe the suds off of the boot, making sure that you're not leaving any extra build up any extra soap in any of the creases. Double check that you're scraping out the welt, double check you're scraping out the creases, where the tongue is. All those parts get all that extra soap off. At this point, your boot is a little bit damp, so it's not quite ready for conditioning. You're gonna wanna let it dry for anywhere between eight and 24 hours. I'm a little impatient, so I usually do it later on in the day. I'll soap up my boots in the morning and in the evening, I'll go ahead and I'll condition them. But if you want to leave the proper amount of time, it's really 24 hours to let that moisture leave the leather and then go ahead and condition. Conditioning is a really straightforward process. It's really easy. I'll just use BIC4 for this example, but with the, I'm using the Thorough Good Mock Toe. Uh, in this situation, you could use mink oil that's going to darken the leather, but it's going to give it a lot of waterproofing. Or you can use something like Venetian Shoe Cream, which is going to really uh, absorb into the leather and make it very, very supple. I like BIC4 because it's very inexpensive and it doesn't penetrate super deep into the leather, but it does a great job kind of restoring some natural oils and waxes after you've used saddle soap, because saddle soap does extract some oil from the leather. So you definitely want to add something back. Big Four is a really cheap and easy way of doing so. Using any of these leather conditioners is basically the same. It's a super simple process. Now that you got the boot completely clean, it's been 24 hours since you washed it with saddle soap, basically get like a dime to quarter sized amount in your hand and you're gonna rub it across the entire boot, making sure you spread it around evenly as possible. Then you're gonna use a horsehair brush, basically uh, buff it out so that you are spreading the amount of conditioner evenly across the entire boot and you are done. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below. If you wanna know some of my favorite leather conditioners, you can check out these videos right here. Those are what I use to condition my favorite boots. And until next time, put your best boot forward.